Hi there, my name is Olga and you are watching my YouTube channel Lazy Wonder Brush. I often receive questions how I learned. I am a self-taught artist and books are a great part which I learned from not only about art and painting but my English also. So I made uh, this uh, video about art books, except this one. Uh, this book isn't about art illustrations provided by the author. Uh, this is my lucky talisman. I won this book during funny auction during my garden tour in Canada this summer. And uh, this is my lucky ticket here. Uh, this is a guidebook about shrubs too. And it helps me. I enjoy gardening in Canada. And this book helps to bring color in my garden near our house. So now about art books. The first book in this video about painting crystal and flowers by Susanna Spann. Susanna is a realistic detailed artist with amazingly stunning paintings in watercolor. I found a big crystal in the last chapter of this book, chapter number seven. You might be less frustrated if you know your place and your focus Whenever you paint, is it commission, competition, gift, job? Are you paint for personal to you, for pleasure, or for benefit, or prestige? Susanna passed through each of them and shared the crystals. Color, a natural history of a palette by Victoria Finlay. You know, there is a history behind every paint on your palette and there are personal Victoria's stories as she traveled all around the world collecting those history of different pigments in this book. It's such more pleasure to use my pigments to feel like there are friends you know. Watercolor from the Heart by Barbara Natchez Techniques for painting the essence of nature. Uh, this is uh, my girl. This book is a must if you love a watercolor loose style in general, not only in watercolor. If you want to know how it works, as there are many, many examples and in between stages of creation process for artists of any level. And uh, this is my favorite part of the video. I begin to talk about watercolor loose style. And books, kind of like books, are, are, I always love to read, especially the next one, which is The Tao of a Watercolor by Gini Carbonetti, a revolutionary approach to the practice of painting. I felt like I know I learned nothing new. This is a so close to me. Feels like the author are reading my mind. This book to read is like a juicy fruit to eat. Good news, she published a series and I already have three more fruits which I found are waiting. A Zen of creative painting, yoga of drawing and making pearls, living the creative life. The previous book, Watercolor from the Heart, and the next in this video are from a list of recommendations from here. Nomo Second Hand Art by Peter London. At some point I wish I didn't read this book. It covers so many topics about art and painting. I passed the bridge. I became an adult as an artist. I became more mature as an artist. Some part of me dead. I think every artist has this book on a bookshelf and there are topics which became obvious since I read this book and this is just a half of it. So excited to read it to the very end. And finally I come to uh, this uh, book A Vein of Gold A Journey to Your Creative Heart by Julia Cameron. If all previous books are tasty to read, interesting things to know about in them, then uh, this one and the last in this video is a workbook. This isn't actually a book, this is a course, a training with practical exercises in it. 
the exercises from this book reveals unlock block energy now I understand why there is a picture of falls and gold stamping true title uh, this is gold but you should work hard for it uh, this book uh, not only for creatives and content maker this is for everyone who want how to say who wants more in enthusiasm and creativity in their life or who have the possibility to travel to Niagara Falls this is the source of power for me if you ask if you ask uh, what book is my favorite, then uh, this one. So yes, uh, this was art books, a great part which I learned from, from the last time. I hope you enjoy watching this video. See you next time. Bye!